You know, in a lot of ways, I think Hamilton was a place that as a teenager, most of us were just waiting to leave. You know, it was a time when uh, the industries were shifting and a lot of us didn't feel like we could find employment here. And when I left, I gotta be honest, I, I never thought I'd come home. So I'm, uh, I'm glad that I did. Just bought a house on Holton Avenue and opened up my business on Ottawa Street. And I'm very happy that I decided to come back and be a part of the community. What I love about Ward 3 is it's, it's that place in our city where everybody can meet on the level. It doesn't matter, you know, where you came from. Everybody's here and we're all kind of rooting towards the same end. And that's going to be to have this vibrant, safe community and still, you know, be able to afford things that they might not be able to afford in other neighborhoods. You know, rent, <laughs> affordable housing is a huge issue. And this is that one community that's left in the city where it doesn't matter what your income is, there, there is a place for you. For a long time we've been an underdog, we've been a place where people felt that they might have to move to. And, and what we're seeing now is that it's, it's emerging as a community of choice. People who have never lived in the city before, when they move here, deciding to move into our neighborhoods, to be a part of our communities, to enjoy the natural uh, environment that we have with places like Gage Park um, and some of our cultural gems like the new stadium that will be built. So I am running for Ward 3 Councillor because I'm fully invested in this neighborhood. I live here, I'm going to raise my family here, and I own my business here. And I know that government is not some abstract place that's like a castle with a moat that people have to have a secret dock to get across. It's really just a process. And all I want to do is share the process of our local government with the people who actually live here. Like you're either going to sit on the sidelines and watch, or you're going to get in the game and participate and be a part of the conversation, sit around the, the, the table where decisions are made. But we haven't been present. That's the reality. There's always going to be people wanting to come into our neighborhoods and tell us what's best for us. And I think that this is the year that that stops. We're ready. We're ready to be at that table.